Hey guys, what if here, and welcome back to NASCAR 7 Crew Mode for Part 29. Just a little bit past the halfway season, point of the season, I said that all backwards, but... Yeah, so, in this episode, we got Chicagoland, then we got New Hampshire, then Pocono. Pocono, for whatever reason, is $1.4 million in purse. And every other race is around the 100000 range, so I, I don't know. But hey, Pocono, having the biggest paying race in this game is... Good, good for me because I I'm from from PA, so I, that's nice. Even if it doesn't make sense in this game, so yeah. Point standings were fine. Uh, I'm just more worried about if Mark can make it in or Labani, but it doesn't really seem like that's going to be the case. It's kind of evening out here. So, Mark, please do well today. That's all I ask. He's got like an 85 point cushion over 11th. So, yeah. Well, we'll see how Chicago Land goes and. It's either it's, it's it's either gonna be really easy or it's gonna be mind-numbingly hard. That's just how this game is anymore. Okay, this race is gonna be a problem. Our first stop we got last. This one's gonna be around mid pack, so yeah, it's not. Or 25th. It looked like it was gonna be 18th to 20th, but you know, so sometimes the ticker just don't don't want to be accurate. Well, I I really want to use a. Uh, pit road adjustments, but I think I'll save that for when I actually go down pit road. We'll see what this does in the first half of the race. Maybe I'll get better. I don't know. I'm trying to be optimistic, but sometimes that doesn't really pay off. Also, Mark's not really starting too good either, so that makes me very upset. And I'm very upset too because we had such a, a, a freaking disgusting start that I, I can't even comprehend because it's that bad. Yeah, the thing from what I saw in qualifying was uh, balls ass tight. And I know what that's like, so it's it's not a fun experience. So let's just try to get through turn three, not just drive up the track. We didn't do it, well, holy shit. And there is a wreck, oh my good god. <laughs> um, <laughs> okay, well that helps me out a little bit. I hope Mark was not involved in that, because that would make me very upset. I don't think so, because I see a blur of his AAA car, so I think Mark is okay. Also, we're holding our own, holy shit. Well, it helps, too, that the field like separated into two packs, so that, that helps us out, too. Well, it looks like we're going to be attempting to get by a custom car, so... It's not saying much, but I'll take any track position spots gained. And even then, we still go up the track and make that pass look a lot harder than it needed to be. I'm sorry, imaginary driver, for putting you in the wall. Okay, good. I don't know how or why, but we're carrying more speed through the corner now on half old tires than earlier in the race. I don't know how that logic applies. But we are, well, maybe, the, maybe the draft's helping us out too, but we gained a spot. Holy shit. And we might be able to get past that custom car for 19th. Though when I do pit, I am going to make those adjustments. I guess we'll see what, what it does. If it, I, I'm just kind of curious if it's just going to make me stupid OP or or, 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 what, the, or what. I don't I don't know. Oh my god, we're going to gain another spot. Look out, everyone. We're breaking new boundaries. <laughs> I can't even speak. Alright, well that was almost going to work until I destroyed myself in the corner. Yeah, we're going to be pinned next time by. I, I think that's going to be undercutting the field, but I'm not sure. But hopefully the picker just doesn't absolutely shit the bed and we should cycle out. Hopefully 19th and then gain spots from there. Hooray. Hitting this lap. Oof, that was almost death from the fantasy driver. So I just... Okay, Oof. all right, we're fine. Lower the wedge, lower the tire pressures, and we'll just wait and see what the pick crew does. Does, do's, or does. I don't know which word is better to use. Really? You can't put the, the thing in the... Th I'm upset. That's going to be a... It was an 18 one second stop, and then they got a 19 eight. So good job, pick crew, for shitting the bed, making me lose five spots, almost six spots on pit road. And we're going to have a horrible outlap because our gear ratio is just trash. The game is trash with this. I don't know why. Almost LePage the field. And it's just a comedy of errors at this point. Also, Walter, I don't know what the, f what the fuck that was. I don't know what I'm doing. Good God. Alrighty, well, I don't know where we're going to cycle out. But we lost a, a god amount of spots. I don't know what, what I was trying to say there. But we're carrying almost 10 miles an hour speed through the corners. So, hooray for the adjustments. We were running like 19th, I think. So... Yeah, this, uh, this sucks. Also, that was almost four wide for a split second. I mean, not really, but... Yeah, the car is fast, so I know we're going to make up the spots. I just don't know if it's enough time. That's the only thing I'm worried about. But yeah, we are... 
it's it's kind of disgusting how much faster are with those two adjustments. I mean, it is just un unprecedented amounts of speed. All right, almost cracked inside top twenty. I don't know why Jimmy's running back here. That's that's a, that upsets me a little bit. Oh my good lord! <laughs> my God, that's disgusting. Hi, Kyle Bush. And by Kyle Bush. Good thing is we are back at a net positive. We're running like 19th before the pit stops occurred, and now we are going for 15th, which is nice. It just sucks because we easily had a top, probably a winning car if I just went with the adjustments the whole race, but I didn't. So that upsets me. And there's, we don't have a chance to go back here a second time, so we're kind of just uh, shit out of luck. Am I banging my foot off my desk? My floor? God damn it, ow. My flag's out. Another really good run in the front straightaway. Trying to get another spot. High Truex. It was a horrible, horrible angle into the corner. Just, that did nothing for us. But yeah, it's, this is so bittersweet. Because now the car is like... It's, it's finally kind of leveling out. We're not really gaining as much time as we were earlier. But still way better. Because at this point in the run, I'll be on the brakes heavily. Trying to slow the car down. And I don't really have to do that. So... Yeah. Well, considering we were like... 30th or 26th when we got up hit row and we got 14th. I, I think that's pretty good for ourselves. So, God damn it, Jeff. Of, of course, Gordon will win Chicago win because he did that in 2006. Well, isn't that just adorable? The game actually recreated real life and Herman Foster is in the 88 card. No wonder why he's not. He, are he's running okay? Well, holy shit. Well, that's awkward. Toxic Fungi's brother beat me. And I'm. I'm they started 23rd too. Wow. Where did Mark finish? Oh, 13th. Okay, he gained spots. Um, yeah, I don't know what to say. That was really <laughs> anticlimactic of a, of a race, but yeah, I understand being upset too. What is it, Ace? Is it another, you know, race with some... Oh, it, of course it is. I, when are they going to learn? Imagine them showing up to so many races and I don't, don't go there. And then they just waste their time. And their fuel and their resources and all the fans too that actually come up to those those races and they just don't don't that thing. Yeah. Hey, Mark's still twelfth. Or eleven. Tenth. Wow. <laughs> but Dale Jr. is 141 points out though. That's not good. And Jimmy's in ninth. That's up I, I don't like that. Um Yeah. Well, so for Mark so far it looks pretty good. But if Mark has a bad run, the Junior Harvick and Kyle are going to catch back up. So, interesting. I guess it's still not out of the possibility of Mark missing it, but it's it could still happen. Anyways, New Hampshire, we'll see what we do there. Hopefully it's not ass. Two, three, and four. No idea if this is going to be a pull. It's just kind of flickering a bit, so I'm not really sure. Well, that looked good. That looked really good. And it's... <laughs> Alright. God damn it, I'm... That's a... Okay, the game really... Um... Well, I mean, if there is a tie for the pull like that, then it would go to the highest person in points, which I am, so I would get first. But yeah, that's... Wow. I can't believe me and Biffle tied for the pull. That's <laughs> that's that's wild. Is it just me or does it bother me that my number font is not even close to my teammate's number font? It kind of bugs me. I don't know why, but it does. But yeah, uh, car setup is default. Actually, the default tire pressure is 22, which is really interesting because usually at every track it's 25. So, I guess we'll see how we do. And I'm hoping it keeps me first. It kept me first on the thing. Or, okay, well, that, all right, well, god damn it. <laughs> this is not how it works. When there's, a, when there's a tie for the pull, usually the person that's higher in points would get it. Also, I hit Biffle for no reason there. We didn't actually have, like, a god-awful start like we would normally, except Goran trying to annihilate my life. It does seem like this race is going to be tough, so, um... No, no music time, so that's upsetting, though. No, I, I can't just relax. I actually have to try. What a concept. Also, Jimmy, that... <laughs> god. Well, I guess it almost worked for him, because he almost got by me, but... Alright, I gotta put on my big boy diapers and try to catch Biffle. Outside, outside. Okay, yeah, we are going to have to make some pit road adjustments because this thing is freaking stupid tight and we are losing ground and biffle, so, yeah. It's just it's just frustrating because if I just put in those adjustments in, like, almost every race, I would just annihilate the field and win. So there's, like, no in-between 
and I'm I'm conflicted. But you know what? We only got eight more laps to deal with this, and then we'll make our adjustments, and then we should win. Or maybe not. I don't know. The picker could probably just screw it up again and make us lose, like, you know, 20 socks. 20 socks. What the f I almost say 20 thoughts. What does that mean? 20 spots. God. It's almost kind of amazing how much this car just refuses to turn off the corner. And we keep getting killed there every damn lap. It just, it's so annoying. So, I don't know. We're going to lose second. We're going to lose third. It's just... I should have... Is there a pit road glitch here too? I don't know. I didn't read the script. All right, we're pinning this lap. Never. Okay, we're still pinning. Okay, we're fine. Just a little, a little detour in the, the what the fuck ville, but that's it. Oh. <laughs> I just realized too it was Jimmy that did it. Why? Why is it me and him? Why do I always hit him? Why did I bang my knee off my desk? Ow. Okay. Well, that complicates things now. Will I be a lap down? I don't know. Also, that pit stop was not that bad, so hooray for us not to have a shitty stop. So, what was it? Did somebody... Oh! Oh, God! He just... <laughs> oh, my God! He just got annihilated! Oh, and the 41 killed him! Oh, man. Wow. I have no... That's my, my teammate! My teammate just sabotaged my own race! What a... What a dick! There's no other word. What an absolute dick. I'm I'm offended. I mean, I'm not offended. I mean, that actually benefited me. Okay, never mind. Well, that was actually kind of a blessing in... Not really in disguise, but... I'm happy. <laughs> I guess we'll see now what this car can do. If it's going to handle better or, or, or what. So, so I guess we'll find out. That was a much better 1 and 2. So it, it turned. So that was, that was, that was a good start. Good news is the car likes to turn almost too much because I'm going below the yellow line and sometimes the car doesn't, it don't like that, so not used to the idea of it turning more, but we're pulling away, so it's music time. Maybe a little late in the race for it, but it's music time nonetheless, and I gotta turn my air conditioner down because it is cold in this damn room. Well, after the adjustments, we just pulled away. It's like over a three and a half second lead, so now we know what to do when we get to this track in the chase. Use a payroll adjustment setup thing. So, yay. Yay, it marks 8th. Oh, and Casey Mears is ninth. Both me and Kamikaze are just ecstatic. I can hear him doing a backflip and raging as he does it in the distance. <laughs> okay. Uh, hero points, what's that going to be like? 2,800, nice. Oh, Ace, what is it? What, what could it possibly be this time? Oh, finally. They're finally going to give me a raise after my, like, 13th win of the season. Well, holy shit. Also, Biffle's been really consistent all of a sudden, so, um, got to watch out for him. But Stewart's uh, 296 back. And, ooh, ooh, Mark is 8th, Jimmy's in 10th, and Kyle Busch is, like, 153 or back from Jimmy. If I said that right, I don't know. But, yeah, so... Oh. Alright, well, on the Pocono, we're, we're going to try not using a setup there, because last time we did, and it, we destroyed the field, so we'll, uh, we'll see what that does this time. Off turn three, it that looked like a good pull lap to me, and it is. 51-5, two second places, 52-3, holy shit. Alright, well, this race is still going to be a curb stop as, as before, just not nearly as big of one. Car setup, default like before. So, yeah, it's pretty simple. We just gotta get through turn one and hopefully just cruise, chill, and win. That would be nice. At this point, Brad raised 20 this season, so we only have like five or six more races until the chase begins. Also, yeah, I figured we would have a horrible start, and we did. Um, yeah, <laughs> good god, it's so bad. It's always so pathetically bad. Alright. I don't know why Scott Riggs is up here, though. That's that's a, a weird concept in and of itself. Also, he's blocking that. That was cute. And should we clear him? Perfect. Okay, now we can angle ourselves into turn two. Also, that is three wide in front of me. That is absolutely uh, not going to work. Also, I got loose. That's not good. Okay, that actually kind of worked for them. I'm kind of impressed. Also, Truex is leading, which is pretty crazy in 2006. There's still three wide. Let's continue it. Turn... 
turn. Okay. We're okay. Phew. Alright. Now we should have a straightaway speed to try to get by him. But he's gonna leave that lap, so... That, that sucks. Okay. Oh, oh, tr jump, st stop! Okay. Oof. Slow down, slow down, slow down. I really thought I was gonna die there. <laughs> okay. Bye, field. It was fun while it lasted. Hitting this lap, we have a almost three second lead, so that's a, that should be a big enough buffer for the picker to make a galactic mistake and we sh still should be back out on front, so got that on our side. <laughs> we're, we're, of course, we're going to have a picker. <laughs> God damn. I, can, I hate my picker so much. I'm listening to Chop Suey, but it tastes terrible. And they're, the, the Surge does the whisper, and it fucking made me crack up really hard. I don't know why. And then the pit crew botched the stop that badly, and we lost time, and I couldn't even take a drink from my water, so now I'm I'm angry. Wait. Wait. Can we actually clear them? And then we can relax for the remainder of the race? That would be really nice. Okay, we are... Okay. Oh, no, Sturt's leading. Okay, well, holy shit, he leapfrogged a lot of people. All right, we're gonna have to try a little bit to get back to him. Also, that is a horrible turn two angle entry to the corner. But holy shit, we do! <laughs> oh my god! All right, well that wasn't really difficult at all. So, all right, well, Byfield off turn three. Uh, <laughs> it's dominating, but it's not nearly as dominating as it was the first Pokemon race. So there was that. <laughs> I I got nothing. <laughs> I got nothing. Oh my god. A look at the finishing results. I saw Stuart was second before the, the thing went away. So hooray for us. And oh my god. Toxic Fungi's brother is running really good this season. Multiple top tens. And he beat Jimmy Johnson too. Jimmy started 37th. My god. Bobby Labani 10th too. Wow. Um Yeah, well, Jimmy needs a good run. Uh Mark's doing good too, so. I don't know what to say. That was... Everybody did good. That I, I cared about, except for Dale Jr. <laughs> so, hooray. So, point standings. What does it look like? I know we're fine. Biffle's still third. And Newman's fifth. Good good for him. Jimmy's tenth and has 176 points over Kyle Busch, So, Jimmy looking good. Mark looking good, too. Dale Jr. is not... Neither is Harvick, which is kind of shocking. But Fungi Brother is 18th. Having a good season in that 88 car, so... I, I, I don't know what to say. He's running better than what the 88 car usually did in real life at this point in time, so that's already a big step up. So I guess this is where we'll wrap the part up. I don't know. I guess we'll find out. post editor Wave will figure that out, but... Yeah, either I'll see you next episode or bonus race time. I don't know. It's bonus race time. I, it's been a minute since we've, you know, had the chance to do that. So, I don't know what the hell I'm going to get myself into going into Indy. I've not practiced. I've not turned a lap there whatsoever. So, I'm a little terrified. But, um, qualifying will give us a good indication of how the race will be. If we just get the pole, then we might, it might be easy. But then if we're struggling, qualifying, it might be tough. So, I don't know. We'll do that and see where things shake up. Off turn four, got a little bit wide there, but seemed like a pretty good time. I mean, it, it looks good. Our first lap, we got 30 seconds, so... Yeah, the, there's... Thank God I went with pit road adjustments, because I was doing some practice laps, and it was it was a disaster. It was an absolute disaster. It didn't turn, it didn't want to do anything, so I had to go with that, and now we're on a pull by, like, a fucking second. I... I don't know, it's insane what those two adjustments does to the car. Even the, the speed of it's weird. Like, the RPM is just is really low. I don't, I don't know why the default is so bafflingly awful, but the two adjustments make up for it, I guess. Here's the car setup. Again, the two big differences is just the tire pressure and the wedge. The default was shockingly... Actually, I'll show it here. The default was set at half round down, which is interesting, because usually they never do that. So, like again, like I said, very interesting. So anyways, with those two adjustments, let's jump into the race. Now, we were like eight tenths faster than them in qualifying, so I'm really hoping that in race trim, it's, I'm not going to, well, then again, we're going to have a 
I should have I should have realized a horrible start, like usual. Or I'll drop back five spots maybe. Yeah, I was very uh, on edge in practice when I made those adjustments because it was it the, the car was so bad in practice with the default. It was going like 143 in the corner and it would would not turn. It was almost kind of impressive how legendarily awful it was. So yeah. Also, we didn't drop nearly as far back as I thought. Only only to fourth. So wow. Oh oh. God damn it. Well, Walt Trip, have have fun. Also, I really don't want to be on the outside. This is like asking for me to wreck or something. We should have Walt Trip's draft here, and we should be able to pull Jeff Gordon here. Or not. <laughs> or not, or we'll just lose the spot to him with no draft from him. That's... Wow. Yeah, the car is better, but man, it is just... The straightaway speed is awful, and usually we always have good straightaway speed in this game. He's in the Cup Series thus far, so... The fact we don't have it here of all tracks is pretty surprising. Here we get, yeah, we're just going to get pulled again. I, <laughs> and we're constantly being put on the outside line. That's the worst line to be in in this damn game. So it's just... Oh, it makes everything miserable. Oh, this is hell. This is absolute hell. I mean, I guess I should have adjusted the, the rear end ratio or the fourth gear or something. Just to get a little more speed out of it because, Mike, even in the draft, we can't even do anything. I'm resorting to hitting the draft button to get more draft. That's how desperate I am. Oh my god, I just want to get to the inside line. That's all I want to do. Why is that so hard? Oh, that's right, because I'm fucking slow. We're 16th. We're struggling. It's just really upsetting. It's... This game it has just some of the weirdest AI balancing I've ever seen. It, we go from races where we win by multiple seconds, then we go to this one and... We're just really, really struggling. I just don't understand. I wish it was one way or the other. Which, I guess I'm asking for too much. Jesus Christ, man. Straightaway speed. It feels like we're the slowest car on track with straightaway speed. Because, like, I've not pulled anyone at any point on the straightaways whatsoever. It's only, I don't know who the fuck thought putting fourth gear at such a shitty thing would make that... Oh, and I keep getting stuck on the fucking outside line. Jesus Christ, car fucking turn! What is wrong with this game? I don't understand why simple concepts of just... Your turning is so fucking... Goddamn... Babylonian nonsense. I, what does that mean? I don't... What can I possibly do to fix this car? There's nothing. There's absolutely fucking nothing, so... Thank, thank God we have we don't have a full season format, so like none of these races matter at this point. Because if it, you know, if this was a full season format, maybe I would give a shit a little more if we had a bad race. But no, it's good. Points are going to get reset anyways, and we're the point leaders, so it's not. I don't know. It's just, uh, they don't, don't, don't matter. Here's another interesting question. How do we get the pull? How do we get it by, like, eight tenths of a second? Then the race, we can't even, like, outspeed a custom car? Why is that? I don't know. Uh, the world may never know. If some stroke of luck, or Aztec luck, there's nobody on my ass. So now I can actually enter the corner the way I want to. We're just chilling. We're in our own little, like, pocket dimension. And that's okay. I like this. I, I'll, I'll, I'll gladly take a 13th as long as no one is, like, constantly up my ass the whole time. Maybe the draft, maybe us barely sucking onto the draft is helping us too. I don't, I don't know. Glad that I have the car a round and a half down so it, it can turn. Didn't turn there. And there goes any chance we had of, of leeching behind 12. This is just fucking bullshit. It's just stupid. Like, we're going through the corner and we're barely topping at 6,000 RPM. What is that? Who, who at EA thought that that was a good idea? Because I love, I love to know so I can roast them on Twitter. Alright, well, here we go. We're gonna drop back like a rock. Oh, okay, never mind. God almighty, man. What the f- <laughs> What the hell just happened in my mirror? I saw Harvick just, like, annihilate himself. What the- <laughs> He just turned right! This isn't cars. Don't turn right to go left. 
<laughs> the fuck was that? Oh, <laughs> God. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know anymore. Can we just end this nightmare, please? Because this is just, this is hell on wheels. Well, as usual, we'll have a horrible start. We're going to lose a spot. I hit Jimmy again. God damn it. This fucking sucks. This, I mean, it's just... The speed this car has is so astronomically bad. I, of all tracks, every other track on default has some form of straightaway speed. And then we go here, where straightaway speed is kind of important. No, let's not have it. Let's have the RPMs barely be at 6,000. Why can a car not fucking turn, for the love of fucking God... I want, I just want this race to end. I just want this fucking goddamn race to end. Holy fucking shit, man. Why? Fucking wire. I'm sick of this dumb, just inconsistent, nonsense bullshit. And yay, we're getting another horrible fucking start. Just keep kicking my nuts. I think one of my nuts popped out at this point. Why are we going 100... It's like we're back to a de it's like we're back to a default setup because the car won't fucking turn. Jesus goddamn Christ, stop. It, I hate this game. I really do. I, I thought I was good. Fuck, it, I'm going to say it. I thought this game was good. I thought this was the last like decent EA game, but no it's not. No, nope, it's fucking trash. So when was the last good NASCAR game? NASCAR to <laughs> NASCAR 05, but then NASCAR Thunder 2004 is actually way better, so has it really been 18 years since we had a decent game? I don't know. It sure fucking feels like it. Because, Jesus Christ, I can't turn the fucking car. What a concept. I like to have a car turn in the corner. Going 142 miles an hour and it won't turn. With pit road adjustments, too. It, why? why? It just, it just, I just want this race to end. I just want this fucking dumb bullshit race to end. This, this was the worst race of the season. Why is the car so slow? What is wrong with it? I mean, I grant I do have damage. But why is it so slow? I don't fucking know. It's unbelievable. It's unbelievable how bad that was. On all fronts. I don't even have words. It just, it was just fucking baffling. Holy shit, man. Like, I don't get it. I don't, like, this is the worst fucking game for AI balancing I've ever fucking seen. It's unbelievable. Some races will win by 10 seconds. Or the AI will have a bad pit strategy and I'll lap the field. Or here, we'll barely fucking get 30th. Or anything of speed. Or we'll just be the slowest car on track. I just, I don't get it. I just don't, I don't fucking understand this game. How did we get the pole? How? Why? Why did we get the pole if we're just gonna run, like, fucking nearly last? God, I'm sick of this bullshit. I'm sick of playing these fucking garbage-ass games. Where half the time, if either I destroy the field, or I don't. And I don't give a shit about getting... Why would you give, give me a raise of all... Yeah, let's give me a raise now after I got 37th. After I won, like, 14 fucking races this season. Have you thought about doing that, like, 10 races ago? No, let's do it after we have a 37th place running in Indy. Yeah, let's... Let, great, great job, EA. I'm sick of this shit. I'm done. Let's just wrap this part up. Big shout-out to my Tier 3 Patreon supporters of Dale Reynolds, Wilder Bros, Kamikaze Games, Ryan Lazar, and Dave Hunter, Champ 15, NASCARNumberside.org, Billy Carrier, Jones and Cardin, Golf Game 100, Denny Hamill, Altafian, and Millie Bebzer, and Mark Harmon for a donation again. I can't thank you guys enough for pledging and supporting me like this every single month like this. It's, uh, it means a lot, and I'm always just really grateful for all the, that you do. It's, it's really, it's, it's, fr it's freaking awesome, and I'm always thankful for it. And I'm, my, my heart, my heart's happy. I'm done. I'm done with this episode. It's fucking bullshit. Like, what's gonna happen next race? Oh, I don't know. Who knows? It's Watkins Glen. I mean, I guess we'll do fine there. Michigan, I know we have to go with pit road or adjustments that way. Bristol, I don't know. Who fucking knows? It's a magical mystery box. I'm done. Have a good day, everyone.